Hi, Mr. VPN here, and today we're going to be testing IB VPN or Invisible Browsing VPN. Now, this is a service that I don't talk about a lot on the site, but I've been checking them out recently, and they have some cool stuff here. If you go to their plans and pricing area, you can see that there's a lot of stuff to look through. They have different kinds of VPN packages for all kinds of different prices. You can combine different VPNs from different parts of the world. They even have business VPN. And probably the best thing is the free VPN. You can get a two hour free trial or there's different things that you can do in order to get a free account like write a review or promote them in some way. You can actually see more of these details at makerevpn.com slash ibvpn review. And I go over all the good, the bad, and what I think of the service. So I've already downloaded. Once you sign up for their service and you navigate to your personal area, which is on the previous page in your client area. Then you go to downloads and they have lots of choices here. So I've installed the all-in-one application. I've never actually installed this so we're going to test it today. But there's obviously LTTP, PPPP and different choices for Mac Windows, Linux, and obviously Android and iPhone will be using the PDPD LTTP. And you can actually set up OpenVPN with Android. One of the great things about IBVPN, you can see in the How to Configure IBVPN section, is they have great tutorials for everything possible. For example, you can have PDPD on Windows 8, or LTTP on Windows 8 or OpenVP on a Windows bit, or SSPP on a Windows bit, or you can have all of these on Windows 7 and Vista as well. Then, basically every single configuration you can think of, they have a picture tutorial. So I'm, I've got the automatic installer, but they suggest OpenVPN for Windows, but they suggest OpenVPN for most users because it's got a nice automatic install setup and it's more secure. But you can see there's not everything that you're going to see. There's no chance to get mixed up. Or you're on Mac and you want to install PPPP. So you click on PPPP. It'll bring you to the knowledge base here. PPPP down here. And then they've got a whole list of different operating systems that can use PPPP. Find Mac. Click on Mac. And it'll take you through with picture tutorials. So I've talked about the service enough. Let's get started. the time, 7.55, we'll see how long it takes us to do the whole setup from start to finish. Don't worry about that. Okay, I'm going to pause 
enter my user information here. Okay, so I've entered my user information here, and the software seems to have a lot going on right now, but if you take it bit by bit, you can figure it out. So this is the name of my package. I've got a total VKID package. Pretty badass account with lots of servers and lots of choices for VPN protocols. So we've got US, Canada, UK, Germany, Netherlands, France, Switzerland, Sweden, Ireland, Russia, Romania, Hong Kong, and Netherlands, and Luxembourg. So there's a lot going on here. You can even see in the Netherlands you can use TTP or Torrent. Let's try something in the US because it'll probably be faster. Then we have OpenVPN, you have your choice of UDP or TCP. Uh, the difference between these, TTP may be better for browsing, UDP would be better for gaming or streaming. Then we've got the PPTP, which is also going to be fast and may be good for streaming, but it's going to be less secure. Then you've already got LTTP and XSTP. So let's try a PPTP in Los Angeles and connect. Oh, we can look at the time now. It's about 8, so it took about 3 minutes from downloading to installing and getting all signed in and connected to the VPN. So, we can make here we're connected. See what Jimmy Kimmel has to say, and let's see if we can stream from YouTube. So you can see down here, look at this. This is not a pop stream video. So I kind of ran out of battery there. We're going to start where we left off. I forgot to switch servers. We'll try and open VPN in Canada. Okay, and let's see how YouTube does with OpenVPN. Now some people say that OpenVPN is slower because there's more encryption. But I find that I usually can't tell the difference. Let's see what Gary Johnson has to say. So you can see here that the video is already loading faster than it's actually streaming, so that's good. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to connect to one more server here. Let's try a PPTP in a file sharing server. So I did try to connect to the LTTP and SSTP earlier without success. So this could be a problem with software not working properly, or it could be that I have some improper settings on my computer, but you can see PPTP connected pretty fast there, and speed won't be a problem with PPTP, so I'm not going to stream another video on YouTube. So that's the IBVPN software right there. There's a lot of other choices, a lot of other things to experiment with. I will get to that 
later and make some more videos, but for now you can read the official IBVPN review from Mr. VPN at mrvpn.com slash review, or you can check out other reviews at mrvpn.com.